much for the start of spring training is here. You're entering your eighth big league season with the club. Do you still get the same excitement, still butterflies to, to kick off the new year with spring training? Yeah, yeah, you, they're, they're a little bit different now. Um, I have an idea of what, uh, what to expect, um, but there's, there's still excitement. I mean, I think that uh, baseball is a game that I've loved for a long time, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll, we'll always have those feelings. I think if you don't, then uh, well, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hear that. Uh, you know, on paper last year, you guys had one of the best rotations going into the season. Injuries were a big issue for the Giants. How big was this offseason for you guys? Revamp the rotation, big free agent signings in Johnny Cueto and Jeff Samarja. Yeah, it was really big. I mean, you had a guy like uh, Cueto and Samarja. You got to feel good about that. I've, I've faced those guys a decent amount over the past six years, and uh, we'll be glad to uh, be catching them instead of uh, having the hit off of them. Both of them have electric stuff, can pitch deep into the games, and, uh, yeah, hopefully they, they, they want to help, help us win a lot of ball games. There's no shortage of pitching in the National League this year. A lot of people talking about how great the Mets pitching staff is. The Cubs have made some additions, their lineup as well. Do you feel the Giants are kind of flying under the radar right now heading into this new 2016 season? Um, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if, uh, if we are or not. Uh, I, I know in the clubhouse, we, we feel like we've got, we've got a lot of talent. I think we, we understand the opportunity that we have, not only with the staff, but with the position players that we have. Um, it's a unique opportunity, and we have to try to make the most of it. When you look at the landscape in the National League, in your opinion personally, who's the team to beat this year? Yeah, it's so hard to say. That's, that's for... Uh, that's for the experts to uh, decide that. And, um, you never know. I mean, guys can, uh, guys on different teams can get injured, and some you'll have you'll have some guys step up from the minor leagues that, that nobody was expecting. And um, gosh, it's, it's such a it's such a long season that uh, a lot of different stuff can play out. You mentioned those experts. Many of them have said that eventually they think you should switch positions, go to first base and, and see your knees. First off, how are you feeling physically, and do you ever see that happening, that move to first base happening permanently? I feel great. I mean, I, uh, I plan on catching as long as I can. I think that since I didn't start catching until my sophomore year in college, I, I, I have some, you know, have less wear and tear on my body than, than somebody that might have caught all through high school and even little league and then all through college so the way I see it is I'm going to catch uh, you know I plan on catching my entire career until I'm told otherwise all right now back in uh, 2011 you were involved in that horrific home plate incident uh, cost you your season with your injury MLB took action after that they changed some of the rules protecting you guys the catchers at home plate just curious to get your take for a guy who's learned you know firsthand what it's like to be taken out do you think rules that need to be in place to protect the shortstops and the second baseman well, I think what they were trying to accomplish as a catcher is to eliminate the, uh, I guess, the unnecessary collision. The collision when the catcher is, say, out in front of the plate or behind the plate and, and the runner has a clear path um, to home plate. You know, there's, there's, there can still be collisions um, now in baseball if the catcher's, um, you know, in front of the plate without the ball and uh, you just don't see it happen too often. So uh, I think the main thing was just to – try to avoid those unnecessary um, collisions. All right, new season is here, which means new sets of baseball cards are coming out. I know as a kid, you always look forward to that new year, seeing what the new cards look like. I know you're pretty involved in this off the field. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm partnering with Tops again, and uh, just excited to, uh, to be a part of it. I have four-year-old twins, and they're starting to show some interest in some baseball cards, and uh, Myself as a kid, I, I collected a lot of Braves cards, grew up in Georgia, and uh, it's just a great way for, for parents to teach their kids about baseball, learn some stats, maybe learn about some players that you don't know that much about. Do you still have your collection? Have you, have you dug it out of the, the garage or out of storage and take a look at what you had back then? You know, I, yeah, I have it. I haven't, I haven't taken a look in a while. I need to and see if I can uh, see if I got some, some valuable ones in there. <laughs> You might have a valuable uh, rookie card from back in the day. Buster Posey, San Francisco Giants catcher. Thanks so much for being with us, and good luck this season. Thanks. Thanks for having me.